Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Jelly Beans build number two uh, for the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Uh, this is the consumer edition. This is not the developer edition. If you had the developer edition, you'd be able to unlock the bootloader and flash it pretty easily. Uh, big shout outs to Hashcode for SafeStrap. And uh, once again, shout outs to Beanstown106 for this awesome ROM development. Of course, he could ditch us, but he's decided not to ditch us. He's going to continue to support SafeStrap on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description and uh, check out the how-to guide on how to get SafeStrap installed. Once you have SafeStrap installed, you're going to reboot your device. And we're booting into SafeStrap Recovery. Uh, you'll need to make sure that you do download the ROM itself. I'll have a link in the description for the ROM download. Okay, when you get to the screen, you'll hit Recovery. So one thing that I love about SafeStrap is that you can actually test out multiple ROMs and flash in between them. So you can keep your stock ROM. You don't have to mess with your stock ROM. If you ever want to go back to stock, it's real easy to go back to stock. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm on the slot ROM. Uh, I'm on the ROM slot 1. If you go into Boot Options, you have up to four custom ROM slots. Uh, so to build a slot, all you have to do is go to ROM slot, and you can add as much memory as you like or you can go with what's already there and create the ROM slot. This takes about five to ten minutes so we'll kind of just stand back and let it do its thing. Also it should be noted that if this is the very first time that you have installed a ROM on your device be sure that you do back up uh, your current ROM before you uh, switch over to the safe ROM. Okay so once you have created your ROM slot we'll go back home and now you can kind of Treat this as if you would any other version of Torp. So you can uh, wipe data on that ROM slot. You can wipe cache, wipe Davit cache. You can install zips onto that ROM slot. Uh, you can just kind of treat this like traditional Team Win Recovery Project if you guys are familiar with that on unlocked devices. So from here, uh, we just created the ROM slot. We don't really need to wipe, but uh, let's say you were already on a ROM slot. You would just go to wipe and swipe to wipe. Then you'll go to install, and you'll be looking for the file that you downloaded it should be in your download folder if you downloaded it directly to your device. So you go into the SD card and download and you'll be looking for the Jelly Beans Build 2. Okay, so we'll go ahead and swipe to flash. Uh, this has the G apps included so you will not have to flash those separately. Uh, you'll find the Play Store is already there as well as the other traditional G apps. So we'll give this just a few minutes to install and then we will reboot the device. Okay, as soon as it finishes, you will see this. As soon as it finishes installing, you'll see this screen that says successful. Um, I would do as it suggests is if you like my work, buy me a drink and please consider donating to the cause. Um, definitely find the donate link. It will be at the link in the description uh, at the ROM thread. You definitely want to toss Beanstown 106 a couple of bones for this. Uh, between him and Hashcode, we've got development on this device. Without these guys, we would not have it on this device. So once again, big shout outs to them. We're just going to reboot the system. We should be greeted with our twerp screen. We'll hit continue and then it'll boot into the ROM itself. Okay, so we'll just hit continue, and then the Beanstown uh, Jelly Beans Build 2 will begin to boot on our Verizon Note 3. And there you have it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 3 uh, and other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.